One of the most recognizable military planes gets put in a doghouse. Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger recently came to the support of Air Force flyers complaining to the Pentagon about a potentially deadly problem with the F-22 fighter planes. CBS News reporter Scott Mar uh, David Martin has an update. The F-22 is on a very short leash. After first being grounded, the world's most sophisticated and expensive jet fighter is flying again, but limited to flights within 30 minutes of a landing field. The reason? A mysterious problem that without warning has caused pilots to suffer hypoxia, become disoriented from lack of oxygen. Over the past 10 months, says Colonel Kevin Robbins, commander of the 1st Fighter Wing at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia, there have been 11 incidents of hypoxia. No one's gotten to the point where they're completely, where they're delirious, or they're still able to function, still able to bring the aircraft back safely. Roger, up to one, cleared for takeoff. I experienced hypoxia firsthand in an F-22 simulator as Major Tom Massa reduced the flow of oxygen to my mask. Can you describe what you're feeling to me? When it got too bad, I pulled the emergency oxygen. All right. Only then did I realize how far downhill my ability to function had gone. I thought I was going straight and level and I was still... Uh, you continue climbing. I was going up through 30,000 feet. The real F-22 can pull nine Gs, subjecting the pilot to a force nine times the weight of gravity. Watch this pilot pull nine Gs in a centrifuge. You can see the number in the left-hand corner. Listen to his breathing and watch his chest heave against all the equipment he wears. One state of equipment is this inflatable vest. This is the combat edge vest. What this does is provide uh, chest counter pressure during uh, rapid decompression. Technical Sergeant Scott Bender helped me into the vest and hooked me up to an oxygen machine. Remember, don't panic. Just breathe normally. A lot of the vest inflated to protect my lungs from exploding at high altitude, but it also made it harder to breathe. Those centrifuge tests revealed that the vest, which was supposed to improve the pilot's chances of survival, was actually a hazard. The vest was inflating every time that you pulled any Gs on the aircraft and staying inflated, which was making it more difficult to take air in. After months of dissecting every inch of the plane's complex oxygen system, Major General Charles Lyon, the man in charge of the investigation, believes he has solved the mystery of the F-22. You're confident you've found the problem? I am. And the solution? I am. F-22 pilots no longer wear the vest, but as a result are not allowed to fly above 44,000 feet. Even without the vest, there have been two cases of pilots running short of oxygen. Although General Lyon says those were mechanical malfunctions unrelated to the hypoxia mystery. But until General Lyon can convince Defense Secretary Panetta he really has solved the mystery, the F-22 will remain on a short leash. David Martin, CBS News, Langley Air Force Base, Virginia.